This video will be a good companion piece to my previous video where I talked about a tool song based around the Fibonacci sequence. I talked a lot about the number 987. Now I gotta give a, another shout out to Match Numbers. This person pointed out to me that the first 218 digits of pi sum to 987. I talked about this in the last video, 987 is the 16th Fibonacci number. And we know that the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet is pi. I wanted to verify the bit about the 218 digits. And it seems to be true if, according to Eve Anderson here, she's collected a bunch of pi numbers. And if we start from the big three at the beginning, I guess the easiest way to do this is to copy and paste the sequence up to 218 digits. Again, starting from the big three, 0.14, yada, yada, yada. 218 digits later, the sum is 987. So, yeah, thank you. Match numbers, brilliant observation. Let's talk about, a lot about 218 for years now. Just for kicks, 2 times 1 times 8 equals 16. Again, the 16th Fibonacci number, 987. The 16th Greek letter is pi. But what about phi? As in phi bonaccia? Phi is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. 21 has a relationship with 821 8. 21 happens to be the 8th Fibonacci number. If you don't count the 0, 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8, and so on, um, the 8th Fibonacci is 21. So 21 and 8. Now we're going to get to this 21 square in the golden spiral later. But if you think about the date 21 slash 8, like most parts of the world would write the 21st of August, 21 slash 8. So normally, if it's not a leap year, it's the 233rd day of the year, leaving 132 days remaining. The word, the words golden spiral equals 132 English ordinal. I'll show you the chart in a second here. Just to repeat the point here, 21 slash 8, 21st of August, leaves 132 days remaining. As you can see on the screen here, I have the English ordinal Gematria cipher, golden spiral equals 132. Now, if it's not a leap year, if it's not a leap year, August 21st, 21 slash 8, the 233rd day of the year. Yes, 233 is a prime number, but it's also a Fibonacci number. Look near the top of the screen, that triangle is pointing at the 233. 233 is a Fibonacci number. It's the 13th. 21 minus 8, 13. That brings us back to the 21, 8, 21st of August. Now, I've been talking about the number 218 since before Trump was elected. If you, some of you listen to the Gematria effect, I used to call in all the time about this number even before I started a channel. By the way, in all caps, Trump equals 218, Francis Bacon cipher. Take a look at Hillary's electoral count off to the right there during Trump's victory speech. Yeah, she had 218. Now, different media outlets might report slightly different numbers, but these are the numbers that I saw. I was blown away that night. I was looking for what's the meaning behind 218. I knew it was connected with a lot of important things. And here we go. Here's an important thing. President of the United States, his opponent lost and um, 
Yeah, she had 218 while he was doing his speech. Now, that speech occurred on the 9th of November, but Election Day was actually the 8th. So if we go from Election Day till his birthday the following year, it's 218 days. Again, Trump in all caps equals 218. And let's not forget about the presidential alert that happened in 2018. It was at 2.18 p.m. Eastern Time. A lot of people started talking about 2.18 at that point. Some of... Some of us talked about it leading up to the Great American Total Solar Eclipse. But again, I was on about this number for years. So, yeah. Oh, and about that presidential alert. Notice it was October 3rd. Well, October 3rd, if you look it up, in 2018 was the, <laughs> it was the 276th day of 2018 and if you look at the electoral votes count while Trump was doing his speech here 276 votes versus Hillary's 218 the presidential alert was at 218 p.m. on the 276th day of the year again it was in the year 2018 but now check this out this is interesting if we use that as a starting date, October 3rd, the date of the presidential alert that happened at 2.18 p.m., if we go forward till the date that the Trump impeachment officially began, December 18th, 12.18, notice that was 441 days, 441, we get the backwards 144, is it bringing this... Back to this uh, golden spiral, the 21 square. We're talking about 21.8, the 21 square, 21 squared, 21 times 21, 441, which is 144 in reverse. I know Exit Time's done a lot of work on. Fibonacci, so he may have covered a, a good portion of this, but I felt it was necessary. I put this video out here. Oh, look at this little equation here. This was brought to my attention by Lambda, great YouTuber. He brought to my attention that pi divided by 144 equals 0 0.0218. Two one eight, like two hundred eighteen. It's a very important number. So, just to bring it back to the beginning here, and I just want to make one last point. Okay, so we've covered that twenty one is the eighth Fibonacci, but we can take it a step further and if we look at the twenty first Fibonacci number. If you look it up, the 21st Fibonacci number is 10,946. If we use the Jewish Gematria cipher and type those words in, the words that represent those numbers, T-E-N, 1,946, just spell it all out. That equals 2108 Jewish Gematria. So this is like this perfect Fibonacci representation. And one one more final point here. Look at 21.8. Forget about the 21st of August. Look at 21 happens to be the 8th Fibonacci, and 8 happens to be the 6th. 8, 6. 8 slash 6. August 6th is the 218th day of the year in a normal year. Right now we're in a leap year, but yeah, 21. 08. I'll be sure to leave some links in the description box. Exit time. I didn't forget about you. Exit time is trying to promote a couple of ciphers that are not on the Gematronator calculator. He's doing a QWERTY cipher and a Fibonacci cipher. I haven't experimented enough with these to promote it too much, but I will leave some links in the description box for his videos. I remember seeing this funny looking picture. 
Trump, the golden spiral. He he put that up on his video. Sorry to take that from you, but I just thought it had to be it had to be shown.